I'm doing the review of the Blancpain and Swatch collaboration, the 50 Fathoms, and uh, this is just my quick opinions on the piece. I've been wearing it for a few days, and um, yeah, so far, I really like it. This is obviously the orange and beige one. This is the Arctic, and it has the little brown, orange, and beige nudibranch. This is powered by the System 51, as opposed to the first Swatch Omega collaboration, which was Quartz. The System 51 is not a serviceable movement, and as such, the case back on this is sealed shut so you can't even open it. Uh, it doesn't have a screw-down crown. It's just a regular push-down crown, but it does have a nice blanc pain B and, and the S for the swatch. It has a uh, rotating bezel with a nice click to it. And the orange version has the no radiation symbol, which is a nod back to the 50s when they put that symbol on watches, letting people know that there was no radium in it and it was safe. The strap that came with it was a NATO strap that uh, was a color match. I took that off and uh, also took the pin buckle off with great difficulty and put an odd and an aftermarket strap because I just not a huge fan of the NATO strap. It's a really nice NATO strap. It's very light and it's made of recycled fishnet. Uh, and it also has three very nice keepers, each with its their own individual stamp. One says Swatch, one says 50 Fathoms, and one says Scuba, because this is actually the Blancpain Swatch Scuba 50 Fathoms. That's its official name. Sorry about the camera being so off. Um, but um, it's got the nice Swatch stamp in the side there. It's, it's extremely light, because it's made of bioceramic, and... It's a proprietary bioceramic by Swatch. The glass is also biosourced material with scratch resistant coating. And that same material is also the bezel. And then weirdly enough, the, the backside, that's actually sapphire. Um, not really sure why they chose to do that, but there we are. And uh, I believe it has a 90 hour power reserve with the System 51. It has a really nice tick to it. It is a slightly different tick than I'm used to. Most of my watches have a a, a Salida or a Myota or a Seiko movement, and they all tend to beat relatively the same, but this the System 51 actually has a slightly different beat rate and sounds really nice to the ears if you hold it up to your ear. So there's really not a whole lot else to say about this watch. Um, it's kind of what you see is what you get. It's based off of the regular Blancpain 50 Fathoms, but is uh, much cheaper because it doesn't have a Blancpain movement, but it does have the mechanical System 51 movement. Uh, they say it's supposed to last approximately 20 years without any service. Once it stops working, you pretty much kind of have to toss it because it's not serviceable. But beyond that, I think it was worth the money if you're a watch collector. If you're new to the watch world, it might be a little bit expensive. But for people who collect watches, this is this is not a bad price uh, for what you get. Extremely light, mechanical, it's got some great loom to it, and it is, in fact, rated down to 50 fathoms, 91 meters or 300 feet. So that's my review of the Blancpain Swatch Scuba 50 fathoms.